The world's richest family lost more than $11 billion in one day as Walmart cut its forecast as per Bloomberg. Let's explore in this video what is going on with Walmart these days, latest news that Walmart is laying off around 200 corporate employees after slashing guidance last week, how Waltons lost billions in their net worth in a single day and at the end my perspective about it. Hi, my name is Sunny and I make content that affect a common man financially. So let's dive into today's topic, how a family lost billions in a single day. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe to it alongside smashing that like button as that will help me with the YouTube algorithm, which of course will be highly appreciated. Walmart stock recently had shown another single worst performance since May this year. It all happened when this US retail giant considered as pulse of American consumers with over 4,000 stores in the US and over 10,000 worldwide gave a shocking negative guidance for quarter two. Today on the day of recording, Walmart stock is modestly up trading at around $126 a share, but looking at year to date performance, it remained almost flat. It dropped almost 7.5% on one single day recently which is huge for this mega cap whereas long term investors gained about 50% in the past 5 years which shows slow, steady and longevity of this stock. Walmart stock had shown its worst single day performance recently since mid-May when this US based retailer gave a shocking guidance cut. Because of its enormous footprint both in the US as well as internationally, it has sent ripples amongst retailers. Unofficially considered as a bellwether for US retail spending, they are forecasting slow revenues as well as profits for the second quarter. We all know the culprit. The record high and now well entrenched inflation in the US economy where to counter it, Fed is increasing benchmark rate, thus hiking cost for borrowing for everybody. Analysts are predicting that other retailers like Target, Costco or even Amazon.com will be affected as consumers are cautious while spending money in today's unpredictable times. In the backdrop of Walmart's shaky guidance for quarter two, its effect is almost immediately seen when news came out regarding hundreds of corporate employees being laid off by the company. If you look deeper, the reason is reduction in discretionary spending by consumers as compared to pandemic times where governments around the world including here in the US was spending money to prop up the economy. The common tools used were ultra low interest rates alongside sending relief checks to the families sitting at home. Now with changing economic scenario, shoppers are shying away from discretionary spending hence focusing more now on basic necessities hence retailers are stuck with not in demand goods on their shelves. As a result they have to reorganize their business according to people's changing spending habits which according to me could be one of the many reasons about these layoffs. Five members of Walton family own about half of Walmart stock, hence their personal net worth is closely linked with the company's performance. According to Bloomberg's billionaire index, Walton family's combined net worth of about $200 billion give or take makes them one of the richest families on the planet. Therefore, when Walmart stock fell close to 8% last week, this family collectively lost about $11.4 billion on a single day, which is a huge number by any stretch of imagination. In May of this year, they lost almost $19 billion on a single day, the culprit being 11% drop in Walmart stock, biggest slump in almost 35 years, according to Bloomberg. This is all unfolding because of inflation which is changing spending habits of consumers whereas when Fed hiked its benchmark rate, cost of borrowings are also going up. Until very recently, Federal Reserve's chairman was saying publicly that inflation is transitory whereas experts were stating it otherwise. Now he has to take corrective action by hiking the benchmark rate as many are of the opinion Fed is a little too late in responding and acting on it. 
Eventually, Fed is left with no other option but to change the wording from transitory to well-entrenched inflation now. In my limited wisdom, inflation issues will not go away anytime soon which is creating uncertainty and unpredictability which is compounded by supply chain issues and other geopolitical events around the world. One thing is very clear. There is no single pill that can fix the issues economy is facing right now as there are multiple contributing factors. Hence being financially aware while holding on to cash as much as you can could be a smart and prudent strategy so that you can overcome today's challenging times. But that is me, I might be wrong, do your own due diligence before investing based on your risk tolerance. As a disclaimer, I'm not a financial advisor, please consult one before investing based on your personal financial situation. If you like the content that I make, please help me and my channel by liking, sharing and subscribing to it. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.